Well, if we want to talk about people, what about people that get on social media and just are mean and ugly to people? Yeah, that's not okay. Why don't you go off on that? <laughs> really? I don't care. So here's the story in a nutshell. Um, Jennifer and I do a lot of affiliate work with what we do, and so we found this new nail product that's great for travel. And so I was, you hear that word, was in a group for women who travel. So I shared a picture of the nails and said, you know, these are great for travel. Because of the drama surrounding the comments on this post, the group removed it, but here's the photo that Joni B posted. Uh, I mean, cause they're in a flat container, you know, so I mean, it's just like, to me, a win-win for travel. Um, so you're not stuck with the same nail color. I mean, there was a lot of reasons why I put it in my mind. And I simply put that I just wanted to share a great new product that we had found um, that was great for travel. She didn't post a link. I didn't post a link. Or anything, just a picture of nails. Of the nails and what I said. Here's a post from the same group that show products just like Joni B did. And here are some other posts from the same group that show products with links that are not identified as affiliate links or otherwise. You know, there were the comments of, oh yeah, hey, yeah, that those are great for travel. Or um, one lady was so nice to say that nobody should be doing their nails on an airplane. Well, if you're on a business trip and you're going from Florida to LA and you didn't have time to do your nails, guess where you do them? If you have the product that we were sharing, well, Color Street, um, you can put it on there. Cause it doesn't smell. It doesn't smell and you just boop, 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 boop. You don't need heat, you, don't, you know, and you're in your own little, yeah. So, but I mean, it was just to the fact that nobody, and she capitalized nobody should be doing that so that was the first one and 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 you know you guys know i get riled up about things and i probably really shouldn't but because it was my post that i posted about something um i just kind of took things a little personal which i you know i shouldn't because but and so i just told her that i was glad to be a nobody i mean i've seen people show that they do face masks on an airplane i mean if if I was starting to do something and the person next to me, which is her, but if there was, like if we were in a three-seater and somebody said, hey, I'd rather you not do that, I totally respect you because... Don't we get like you don't want to open a jar of nail polish on an airplane because it smells awful, yeah. which is kind of the point of the strips that you don't have that. Um, so... So then it was just like being attacked. I could do all my personal grooming in, in an airplane or in public places. This person proceeded to go into, a, go into the link and just went off and said that something about the type of company Color Street is and said that it was for wannabe women. It was for people, it was for ladies who want, wanted to be successful. And then she said, just know you're going to fail at it. First of all. And, and, and okay. I don't know what anybody goes into any business for. Whether you work for Apple, Google, you work for Mary Kay, you work for a local boutique. I don't know why you chose to work there, but that's not anybody else's business to assume of why you wanted to do it. And trust me, getting up in the morning makes you a successful woman. So I'm just leave that there. But then to tell somebody that they're going to fail. Mind your own business. So, and it's not like she posted asking for anybody's opinion. She didn't even say that she was selling the product. Nope. So either so, but really? so to think about that and to know how I posted it, you know, that I just was sharing it. Again, I, as Jenny said, I provided no link because that's not what that group is for. That group is not to sell. That group is to share. So that's why I shared. So I did tell her that I thought she was very rude because that was very rude. But my point of it all, you never know 
what the person that you're making a comment to, whether to their face, but most of you aren't brazen enough to say it to somebody's face. You do it behind a screen and just type away. You never know what the person receiving that message is going through. Um, who knows where I could have been when I put that there. Um, words like, you're going to fail, can kill a person. We think COVID is out to kill people. Well, yeah, COVID might have killed a whole bunch of people, and it has. But your words kill people too. You do not know. I mean, it can kill in so many ways. It could kill the fact that maybe a person that you told this to, it was something that they were trying to do. Maybe they had been laid off from their job due to COVID and they didn't have a job to go to, but they needed money to provide for their family. But now you just told them they're gonna fail, so their self-esteem is probably in the crapper already, so let's just put a little another pile of you know what on top of them, so they really feel bad. We did a video the other day on body shaming. Again, who cares about that? If my body is not affecting you, it's not affecting Jennifer, so stay in your lane, keep your comments, to yourself because I can guarantee and I can pretty much 100% guarantee the words that you speak to people are going to come back and bite you in the backside and then I can go back to the movie we watched last night oh my gosh so this movie was what was it called inspector the inspector calls yeah comes a call or something like that it's a British movie. Very good, by the way. I'll try to put a link. It was on Prime Video, so. And so, this inspector comes to the house and tells the people that this young lady had committed suicide and he had questions. This was a well-to-do family, um, highly known and in the area. I mean, hoity-toity business owner, you know, we're the best, we're the bomb. And so, as the inspector started talking, it started with the dad. Well, the dad owned the company where this girl worked. She stood up when he wouldn't pay the worker. She stood up. Well, he told her that she didn't deserve that money. And, well, he fired her. Then it goes to the next. Okay, so now the girl is fired from the job. Now she's struggling. Her, both of her parents are dead. So she's struggling. She gets a job at a department store. The daughter had gone into the store and was upset and jealous of this girl because she thought she was prettier than her. This girl had nothing to do with anything. She was just doing her job and the rich girl complained to the manager and said, we will take our account elsewhere. Manager files the, fires the girl, right? Yep. Okay, so now she's been fired twice. Two people in this family have come back to just destroy this girl. And then it goes on to the girl, to the rich girl's fiance, who, while he had met, stepped in to be the knight in shining armor and kept her as a mistress and then dumped her. Then we find out that the poor girl that has passed away went to a women's organization and asked for help. Oh, and who was in charge that day was, oh, what, the rich lady, this family, the mom. And she denied her. She told her she didn't deserve it. She got pregnant, she got in the situation, so go marry the guy that did it to her and he was responsible so turned away again and then well who got her pregnant jennifer oh the rich son so the mom's son who it all started with a assault on the girl and just everybody had, in that family had actually contributed so the girl swallowed drain cleaner and killed herself you never know what your ugly, harsh, nasty comments really do to someone. 
it might be the first time or it might be the last straw you just never know so come on people if you don't have maybe your grandma never told you this and maybe your mama never told you this but I've heard it all my life if you can't say nothing nice don't say nothing at all and what does hurtful words does it make you feel better well then again then that's where you need to check yourself look in the mirror and check yourself before you say anything I think there's a Bible story about that too what the women woman who was accused of adultery they brought her out to stone her didn't bring the man by the way but oh we're gonna bring the woman and um, Jesus simply said whoever doesn't have any sin cast the first stone I can 100% guarantee that none of the people here in my voice or who are on the internet or who walking around this world are perfect I'm so not. that means no one should cast a stone no one should say anything no one should tear anybody down because none of us are perfect so that is just what's on my mind today 